Yeah, hi friends. So today we are having Bhumi uh, with us, one of our course enrolled student at Gate Applied Course. And so she got like uh, all India six rank in Gate CSC 2022 examination. So uh, congratulations, Bhumika. Thank you. Yeah, so can you give a brief introduction about yourself? Yeah, so uh, I'm Bhumika Khitan. I okay. did my engineering and then I uh, did a job also for two years. Mm -hmm. uh, then I thought upon that I want to pursue higher studies and then okay. I mm -hmm. decided on GATE. Yeah, okay. so then uh, I started studying and yeah, that's it. I gave the exam. And... Mm -hmm. Okay, good, very good. So uh, is this uh, your first attempt of GATE? Yeah, this was my first attempt. Yeah. Okay, good, good. So you are, uh, you are working for some organization and start prepare uh, preparation for the gate. So how did you manage your uh, uh, studies uh, with the work? Yeah. So I uh, start like I started around March. Seriously, I started around March. I was thinking that I want to do uh, study for it, but around mm -hmm. March actually I was very serious. So mm -hmm. I. Okay. Uh, started i just went with my gut like if i liked the subject i picked it up first like i was uh i always liked programming and data okay. so mm -hmm. i picked all those subjects first and then i went and did uh, logic and this was the cue that i followed like i mm -hmm. picked up subjects that i like i did not follow any particular order mm -hmm. for the subject okay. and then um in april itself i decided that i want to give it a wholehearted attempt and yes. I just quit my job like okay. in August I quit my job and then I for the next five months I prepared solely mm -hmm. for gate and, okay. yeah that was my preparation strategy yeah. mm -hmm. okay okay when you were started your journey with gate applied course mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. then I uh, enrolled in the course and mm -hmm. then okay. I started using essays I gave all almost all the practice tests Okay. And some, uh, I gave all the mock tests as well, your mock tests that you were mm -hmm. providing. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Okay, okay. So, mm -hmm. so you said that you have appeared for many of the tests which were conducted by our team. So, how was your uh, performances there and how, on an average, how much you scored there? So, uh, in the start, in the first mock test, I got, I think I got only 68 marks, but the rank was good. The rank okay. was under yeah okay mm -hmm. then, uh, that was like the first time i was giving a three hour length test like that mm -hmm. was the first test i did okay then okay. i uh, i understood what was my weak point like i was giving a lot of thought to questions which i was knowing that i won't be able to solve mm -hmm. so okay. in the next mock test i uh, decided that i would just uh, go through the question and if i feel like i know that i would be able to uh, come up with a solution then only i solve so in the next mock test, I got around 70 to 73 marks. Okay, the rank okay. was changed. Rank was almost under 10 in all the okay, eight mock okay. tests, I think. Okay. And um, after fourth mock test, it was always above 80. Yeah, <laughs> the mark. Okay. Okay, and the good. rank was under 10. Mostly. Okay, good, very good. Like I think uh, consistency. Uh, you are like mentioning about the so you are maintaining uh, all the time good consistency that makes your confidence. Uh, yeah. like you know uh, in all that good very good uh, like you know how did you manage last like last two months like many people felt uh, like you know exam fail and exam pressure like okay so we are running out of time or we are not able to perform well so how did you manage at last two months so i uh, had a plan in my mind i didn't write it or anything but mm -hmm. i was like i want to revise in one month so okay. whole, mm -hmm. yeah one one and a half month i want to revise uh, so for the last two months, one and a half months I revised and the last 15 days I gave for a quick review, just okay. going to the house. So that was my plan in my mind. It was not as I said, I have okay. to do this much today. That was nothing. But yeah, okay. I was like, one and a half months, I will do one whole proper review of the of okay. all subjects. Okay. Awesome. So obviously there are thoughts like how the exam will go, but if that comes in, then you stop studying. So I was like, let it go. Like, just mm -hmm. study and give the exam. Yeah. Okay, okay. And last 15 days, so they were very tough, I would say, because there was a question that whether the exam would be postponed or not. I yes. didn't want the exam to be postponed because 
then again we have to study so i was like i hope the exam happens but yeah i just continued with my just the, what i said to you just reviewed the whole notes again this okay, time okay. yeah yeah good, good. Mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. for the last one month i gave uh, three hours uh, full length test every alternate day okay okay yeah so uh, what i would do is uh, for let's suppose there are five days so mm -hmm. for the first day i would give uh, your test or any other test series that i have applied full three hours test and okay. then on the next alternate day that is the third day i would give a previous year paper gate paper okay, okay. i would just set the timer and give that and mm -hmm. the next fifth, fifth day i would again give your test or anything else okay. yeah so that was my plan okay so you said that you solved gate pvq right so uh, like how yeah. many years of gate uh, problem papers you have solved uh thoroughly till uh, 2010 okay okay starting from 2021 yes okay like okay. 2010 to 2021 okay okay <laughs> Good way. I gave, yeah this this uh, this pyqs i solved it very thoroughly and mm -hmm. for like we have uh PYQs from 1990s as well, 1990s. Yes, yes. So that I just uh, gave it like once. I did not solve it again. Mm -hmm. So any difficulties you might find while uh, like, you know, covering the courses, like people like sometimes somebody might say some uh, subjects like COA is difficult or uh, computer networks were difficult. So uh, did you face any problem with any subjects say, in your preparations? I think i was a bit overwhelmed by cn that is computer network mm -hmm. okay. but i will i will just i i was limited to what i had in my notes i didn't want to study uh, almost everything and then not remember something so yes. i was like i will only study what is in my notes and okay. i just went through my notes two to three times for computer network Mm -hmm. And COA actually I liked that subject very much, so it was mm -hmm. not a problem for me. And same goes for OS. OS mm -hmm. also once I started understanding it, it was uh, kind of easy for me. Mm -hmm. But for CN, I did the thing like I just uh, like I just focused on my notes. I did not read everything of every topic. Mm -hmm. uh, be, yeah, because what will happen sometimes like people will come and say, sir, this subject is very difficult for me or uh, can I skip the complete subject uh, with, uh, instead of like, you know, spending some time. So at least if you're able to spend some time, like, you know, uh, uh, just know, know like what kind of questions uh, they were asked in the gate examination. And if you know the fundamentals, definitely we are able to do yeah. it. Yeah, that, that is the basic idea of uh, like, you know, uh, like visiting each and every course. Okay, okay. so any suggestions uh, you might give for the future aspirant? Like you you did so much hard work and effort, like, you know, uh, to become successful in your examination. So what kind of suggestions you might uh, like, you know, give it for the future aspirants? I would say just like, I have also seen many videos like this. So mm -hmm. Everyone says the same thing, like you have to be consistent and that is like the most important thing. Yes. You have to be consistent. like. I would just give my personal example. I was uh, having COVID uh, during April. So I okay. left the city for 15 days. And mm -hmm. then once I came back, I was like blank. I was like, what I was studying 15 days ago, I did not remember. So that's the importance of consistency. You have to stay consistent and not everyone gets everything. You have to just go with what you're understanding and just be with it. Like you don't give up. After the first mock test, if, even if you receive less marks, you have to go ahead and give second and give yes. first and then you have to go forward. Yes, yes, that is really good. Uh, any other sessions for Gate Applied course or Gate Applied Day? Yeah, actually it was a very good course. Like the questions in the text, test as well as mock, they were very tricky. And that was the okay. paper that like. In 2022, the paper was also very tricky. If you see, there are some points, even if we miss them, then we get the answer wrong. So yes. I guess that's what I liked about your course. The questions were very good. And uh, the mock tests were very good. Like, I never missed one test. Like, I was like, I will give there every each and every mock test. So I gave uh, that. Yeah. And yeah, that is very nice. And yeah. I also watched some videos from your course and it was explained very nicely. 
Hmm. This is what I feel. Yeah. Okay. It is removed my all the doubt of, about that subject. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Bhumika, for joining the session and sharing your views. And we are again wishing all the best uh, for your future endeavors. Thank you. Yeah.